it's not going to be like that when it's smarter than us and more powerful than us. And I think at present, um, all the big companies and governments have the wrong model. So they, their basic model is, I'm the CEO, and this super intelligent AI is the extremely smart executive assistant. I'm the boss. I can fire the executive assistant if she doesn't do what I want. Um, and I just sort of say, make it so, a bit like Star Trek. And the super intelligent AI makes it so, and I get the credit. It's not going to be like that when it's smarter than us and more powerful than us. Um, that's just the wrong model, I believe. We need to look around and say, is there any model where a less intelligent thing controls a more intelligent thing? And we have one model of that. And it's a model we all know, which is a baby controlling a mother. Evolution put lots of work into allowing the baby to control the mother. And the mother is actually often more concerned about the baby than about herself. That seems a much more plausible model of how to coexist with the superintelligence. But we have to accept that we're the babies and they're the mothers. Hopefully they're not Jewish mothers, but you can't imagine these tech bros accepting that model. They just don't think of the world like that. Is the United States behind China in developing generative AI right now? Not yet. The United States is still a little bit ahead, but not as far ahead as they thought. Um, and in China, you've got a very large number of very competitive, very smart people, very well educated in um, science and engineering and math. Um, they're educating far more people than the US in those areas.